So, we had our predictions here today. And the prediction said that 79% of the chat think that we're going to get either Whitebeard or Whitey Bay in five multis. That's crazy. That is crazy. So let's see what happens. Uh, part two of the Sugo Fest is here. This is the part that has Whitebeard, which is what we're looking for, of course. And of course, Whitey Bay, the highest booster would be Wicked. If you guys didn't see it, we did upload the shorts for part one. I did a discount on part one. Luckily, thanks to Carissa who did the pull, ended up walking away with Marco. So we are only looking for Whitey Bay and Blackbeard. Those two are the best units, like actual units themselves. Marco isn't that great in my opinion. He's okay. Uh, the other two are definitely more desirable. But we're going to do up to a maximum of five multis today, which we get a guaranteed new unit and a chance at a legend. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it today. Let's see if the pool luck is going to continue here in the US of A. All right, starting off with a train. Potentially. Okay, maybe a red. Two, three, four, five. Nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, white beard. Where are you? Ooh, baby shanks. The new shanks. Okay, we take those. Oh, let's go. Starting off pretty strong, I must admit. Didn't get him from the previous month's treasure map Sugo Fest. This guy's super solid and uh, one of those really cool supports that does end of turn damage. Like this guy's really good. So I'm pretty happy to pick this guy up. This guy's really solid. All right, let's continue the luck. This pool has been amazing so far. All right. Number four, Otama. And here is our red poster. Not extended. Ooh, all right. We take dupes of that. We take dupes of that. That's a very, very good one to pick up. Okay. What else is this multi going to have in store for us? This is a pretty good start to the pulls, I must admit, man. This is good. Number nine. And... Kami. Finishing up with... Amand. Okay, so not bad. Picking up Eneru, which I didn't have, and then a, a pretty good dupe that I can use. Like, that's not bad. I, I, I could gladly take that. Again, we really want to get the Marshall D Teach, the Whitey Bay. Those are the two big ones. And then, of course, the Whitebeard. So I guess we'll just get stuck into the th uh, second pull, which is just a, a Legend or a Raid Boost, which is, you know, nothing special. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, that's not looking great. So hopefully we can we can really just hope for the treasure map units. That's what we're hoping for here. Come on, buddy. Another baby shanks to start us off in this multi. All right. Wait, Chris, you got uh, the black beard and the baby shanks. I suppose it's not bad. Better to get one booster than no boosters. Is this a good time to start the game? Uh, wow, another NRL. That's kind of crazy. Um, I don't think it's a good time to start the game. Probably towards the end of the month would be a, a really good time to start, to be honest. So this multi hasn't been great for us, unfortunately. Don't see that unit too often. Not looking good. Come on, can we finish off strong? Kiros. And... Okay, well, don't see that unit too often either. So, pull those rate-boosted TM units, just not the new ones, of course, because their rates are terrible. So, we have a guaranteed new character here, which means that we can pull either the Whitey Bay or the Black Bear. This is a great opportunity to pull that Whitey Bay. It's going to be very, very useful in the treasure map to get us those really, really high points. All right, here we go. Come on. Don't screw me, man. Don't screw me. Well, no red poster, unfortunately. All right, we're hoping. We're hoping. Come on, Whitey Bay and Marshall. Or Teach. Teach and Whitey Bay. Where they at? Teach and Whitey Bay. Definitely ain't Kaku. Brook from Film Red. Ohm, okay, from the previous month's treasure map. Okay, these units, getting, getting a lot of them. Sanji, good support. Bobbin, good, good unit, good special. Don't want these guys. Come on. Oh, back to back, dude. What is happening? 
and Gum Gum Balloon Luffy. Oh, man. That is rough. That is rough. Okay, here we go. Just don't be Marco. Anything but. Yes, let's go, dude. Yes. Oh, my God. All right, so prediction. That was a pretty easy win. That was a pretty easy win. Beautiful. So now we just need the lowest point booster. The easiest one to pull. So Whitey Bay, you're going to be a very useful character, giving us some matching slots, removing despair attack down, matching, uh, locking the slots for, for a turn, and then multiple turns of chain boost. Pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to do two more multis to, to not only get a chance at, at, at Teach, but also potentially at a chance at Whitebeard. So let's continue the luck. Things have been pretty good so far. Things have been pretty good. Oh, shooting stars, maybe. Be nice to see a red. I don't know. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not looking good unless we get a secret, but I don't think we're getting a red here. We just want to see Teach. Okay. Shout out to Momo. That's my that's my opinion on what I think a uh, global anniversary is going to be. I think it's going to be a Momo. This multi's not looking pretty good. Okay, Cat Viper, who is boosted, a boosted rare recruit. Rizo. Wait, I don't think I have this unit. Do I have this unit? No, I don't even have this guy. What's his support do again? Dex character. First color affinity of Dex by 1.3 at the start of the final battle. Uh, I'll gladly take that. Dex color affinity boosters are really hard to get a hold of. So, oh, in terms of supports. That's pretty good. I'll actually, <laughs> I'll actually take that. Not bad. All right. Cool. All right. But where's Teach? Okay. Legendary Raid Boost. Come on, Teach, Teach, Teach. Ugh, dog. We got Dog and Cat in this multi. Dang. Alright. Well, this is it. This is our last opportunity to potentially pull Teach or, or the White Beard. <sighs> Come on. Gonna give it a bit of a charge. Gonna crank it a little bit. This is it. This is it. Baby. Okay, the crank. The crank, yo. Alright, here we go. Two. All animations. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, three chances, yo. Three chances. Come on. Oh, it'd be so crazy if Teach is in here, too. Oh, another NL. Chaka. I think this is our first red. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I, I can take it, but... Oh my god, that's that's hilarious. I mean, this unit is still one of the best units in the game. But not ideal. <sighs> Two more chances. Come on, Teach. This is our last chance for Teach. It's gonna be a secret red! What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Well, I can take it once again. These TM Legends are pretty hard to get a hold of. Jeez, man. What is this last multi? Come on. Where's Whitebeard? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh man please don't tell me this last unit's gonna be another Hina or another Bon <sighs> dang it well that is not what we wanted to see would have definitely preferred another Bon Clay in all honesty uh, pretty crazy set of five multis if I do say so myself 
not bad. We got the highest booster. We can still build some pretty good teams. And of course, we did pull Rayleigh and Gaban from the original debut Sugarfest. So yeah, we can probably build some decent teams in this treasure map. Not too pissed about that. But that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.